Riyadu Salahin Chapter 37 Spending Favorite Things for Allah's Sake Allah, the Exalted, says Never will you attain the good reward until you spend in the way of Allah from that which you love. And whatever you spend, indeed, Allah is knowing of it. Surah 3 verse 92 O you who have believed, spend from the good things which you have earned and from that which we have produced for you from the earth. And do not aim toward the defective therefrom, spending from that while you would not take it yourself except with closed eyes. And know that Allah is free of need and praiseworthy. Surah 2 verse 267 Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, Abu Talha, may Allah be pleased with him, was the richest among the Ansar of al Medina, and possessed the largest property from palm trees, and among his possessions what he loved most, was his garden known as Baraha which was opposite the mosque, and messenger of Allah peace be upon him often visited it, and drank from its fresh water. When this ayah was revealed, by no means shall you attain al piety, righteousness, here it means Allah's reward, Jannah, unless you spent, in Allah's cause of that which you love, Surah 3 verse 92, Abu Talha came to messenger of Allah peace be upon him and said, Allah says in his book, by no means shall you attain al unless you spent, in Allah's cause of that which you love, and the dearest of my property is Baraha. So I have given it as Sadaqah, charity, for Allah's sake, and I anticipate its reward with him, so spend it, O Messenger of Allah, as Allah guides you. Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, Well done. That is profit earning property. I have heard what you have said, but I think you should spend it on your nearest relatives. So Abu Talha, may Allah be pleased with him, distributed it among nearest relatives and cousins. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary 1. This hadith mentions the spirit of obedience to Allah and his Prophet peace be upon him, an effort which the companions of the Prophet peace be upon him made for attaining a higher status in virtue. 2. To spend the best of one's property in the way of Allah is a sign of perfection of faith. 3. In the matter of sadaqat, almsgiving and charity, preference must be given to one's closest relations, provided they are poor, and stand in need of help, otherwise, these should be spent on other deserving people.